bunch. <gasps> if you have a problem, pull this handle. It signals us and we arrive in the blink of an eye. Patricia, your turn. Uh, a crab. It's a crab. My turn. Chicken. Miguel correct. Miguel next. It's too easy. I got it. It was a rhino. That's right. It's your turn, Gilbert. Bird. Come on, don't be shy. Don't hide. I'm not hiding, Patricia. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. <laughs> Duty calls, my friends. Your rock is very convincing. But it wasn't a rock. It was a turtle. Ah, the jungle bunch. <laughs> to, to the, the rescue! rescue! Good mission! Open. Great Tiger Warrior, hurry! My Uncle Otis is at the bottom of the sea! What? Would you mind explaining? Well, he needed this thing to make a different thing out of another thing, so he put a big jar on his head and he hung strange-looking bottles on his back, and then he dove right in. Hmm. Sounds like he made a device that enabled him to dive. Where did he dive in? At the beach. I went along with him. He said he was going to the Abyss Conch, and when he didn't come back, I came to get you guys. And what is that thing? This is to measure the amount of oxygen still left. There isn't a lot. There's no time to waste. Gilbert, gather our supplies. Let's go to the Abyss Conch. Thank you, Jungle Punch. Oxygen filled gourds? Check. Phosphorus lamps? Check. Hourglass? Check. Perfect. This is where Uncle Ernest dove in. The abyss conch is just underneath. We'll wait for you here. Good luck. Good mission, Grumpy Mouse and Little Tiger. Good luck, Junior. Good luck, Gilbert. Who knows what awaits you in the deep water? aren't used to seeing bright light. Junior, do not touch that shell. If you get too close, you'll be trapped. There's nothing to fear from underwater species if we don't bother them. Most of them are afraid of the light. Yes, except the electric eels. They can be very dangerous. Right, we just have to keep calm. Maybe they're not electric eels. Well, they're electric eels after all. There's only one sensible thing left for us to do. Run! <laughs> Junior, let's go break the shells. It will slow them down.
there. It's our only way out. A wolf? No. Uh, a fox? No. Is it normal that Junior and Gilbert haven't come back yet? Don't worry. Junior has no problem staying underwater. <laughs> The eels won't bind us in here, but it looks like we're gonna have to find another way out, Junior. Let's go! But let's hurry! There isn't much oxygen left for Ernest! A giant octopus. Ah! We woke him up from his nap. He is angry. Let's go! He has me, Junior! He won't let go! It's probably best you don't do that, Junior! There's no choice. Cut the oxygen gourd. Don't worry. There's still one oxygen guard left. It should be enough to get us back to the surface. Okay, this time he's really angry for sure! The octopus is caught for the moment, and the electric eel's left. Let's head for the abyss conch, Junior. Put it in turbot. <laughs> get it? Turbot? Uh, Turbid is also a fish, you know. Wait for me, Junior! Uh, a gnu? No. Uh, a mushroom? No. Uh, a slug? No. A slug with paws! No, we go give you clue. <laughs> It looks like we found Ernest, Junior! Oh, uh, hey there, my friends! Am I glad to see you! You see, my foot is stuck in this seashell, and I can't get it out. Plus, I don't have much oxygen left either, so I'm in a bit of a bind. There's no way to open it! Junior, tell him we're sorry to have wakened him from his nap and for sending him shooting up in an air gourd, too. <laughs> Never mind, no need to translate. I got it. He's really angry at us. <laughs> Don't yell so loud, Ernest. You're wasting the oxygen you have left. Uh, that's difficult to do. Oh, we're finished! We won't have any oxygen left! Yes! Oxygen! Listen, Ernest, hold your breath. The only solution we have is to go up. Time to sacrifice our air guards. Junior, help me! A hippocrocomus, half hippopotamus, half crocodile, and other half hippopotamus. Well done, 
Gilbert. And you too, son. So, Ernest, what were you doing at the sea bottom? <coughs> I needed the beads for my greatest invention, my masterpiece. Follow me to the village. I'll give you a demonstration. You'll see, it's revolutionary. <laughs> I'm going to explain. I got the idea for a ball game. To play, you just need to throw the big ball close to the little red ball. Oh, great. Another one of your super useful inventions. Don't tell me we risked our lives for that. Stop grumbling, Gilbert. It's a lot of fun. We got turn, we got turn. Ah! Oops. Patricia, pick up the base with the rocks. Al, Bob, throw the torpedo oysters in. You can do it, son. You're nearly there. Nice job, son. Your underwater training is now done for today. You did exceptionally well. Bravo, little tiger. Bravo, Junior. Yeah, well done. Ah, Joe, you were right. The Jungle Bunch has exactly what we need for our operation. <laughs> Go get him. I just disconnect this, and here we go. Go on, son. Go and cool down. Ugly fishy in Junior's water house. Hey, little guy, what are you doing in there? <laughs> oh, poor thing, he looks so lost. Maybe he needs some help. It's a deadly black piranha, probably from the swamp of deadly death. Hey there, kiddo. Are you alone? No. Do you want us to take care of you? <laughs> you want to go and play with Junior? <laughs> what a great opportunity to have a training partner. What do you say? <laughs> My tiger instinct tells me you two are going to get along. <laughs> We'll just put the submarine back in the den. Then we'll be back in time for dinner, my friends. <laughs> See you later, Jungle Bunch. <laughs> All right, kids. Ready for a little race? <laughs> On your marks, go! <laughs> Go, Junior! Go! You've got it! Uh, Junior, where'd you go? Well, not a bad first try, little piranha. Well, Junior, how nice you have a playmate. It certainly seems he likes you. You keep him company. He looks lonely. Dinner is served. Extra helpings for the athletes. One stripe here, one stripe there, and there. Now you're a real little tiger, son.
지금? 네. 
Yeah, I've heard that one, Tyga. If they lifted both legs up, they'd fall. <laughs> nope, that's not the reason. Congratulations, son. You're the winner. Here's your pink sapphire, my friends. Oh, thank you, Jungle Bunch. Now all we have to do is put the sapphire back. In the middle of all those deadly traps. That's not gonna be easy. Don't worry about it, my friends. I have an idea. That's all your fault, Joe. If you hadn't had the stupid idea to steal that stupid egg, the Jungle Bunch wouldn't have forced us to put it back. Sometimes you come up with the most ridiculous ah! idea. Ah! Oh! Ow! 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 Our homemade costumes pass the test. We hope that Fred likes them the best. Well, I should hope so. We worked hard on it. Right, Junior? Uh, Do you have a problem, Gilbert? Tonight is the big night. We'll have lots of fun. Mm. Fred celebrates 10 years of his career. If someone recognizes me, I can say goodbye to my pride. I assure you, huh? Gilbert, you don't look ridiculous. In fact, the snout fits you perfectly. Thank you, Patricia. Now I'm really not going. Well, my friends, it's time for us to be off. Miguel and Fred must already be there. All right, we'll fix this quickly, and then afterwards, we'll head to the concert. Al and Bob, come with us. The Jungle Bunch. To the rescue! Open. So, my friend, what brings you to... Miguel, what are you doing here? You're supposed to escort Fred to the Circus of Geysers. Miguel, sorry. Miguel lose, buddy pig. Miguel tell story. Miguel walk quietly along. I'm really excited. Tonight I celebrate my jubilee. Ten years in my career and not a white hair on my mane that you can see. <laughs> Miguel happy for my buddy pig. <laughs> buddy pig. Buddy pig. You. Buddy pig. Miguel's so sad to lose his buddy pig. We have to find him quickly. The concert starts in a few hours. Hmm, he must have had stage fright at the last minute and left to go hide somewhere. Okay, Junior, Patricia, and I are going to head out and search for Fred. Patricia will know how to reassure him. Isn't that right? Mm-hmm. And us? What are we supposed to do? Fred's audience is going to grow impatient. You have to go to the Circus of Geysers and entertain them. We have to entertain them? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> The second time I see him, and the first time he's late. Are you all ready to rock? Good. <laughs> Don't worry, the show will begin real soon. The Jungle Bunch, they're coming. And here come Fred's friends, the Jungle Bunch. Our star will be performing next. <laughs> Missing. What are you going to do about it? It's terrible. The crowd wants to see Fred perform. And that's where we come in. Bob, did you do your tongue exercises this morning? Yep. Hmm. So this is where Fred went missing. There. Some footprints. If we follow them, they will lead us to... Nowhere. They stop after 50 feet. It's a false trail. <laughs> What's going on, Junior? What? You were a little bloated today, is that it? No, I think Junior is trying to tell us that over there it smells like a Fred fart. You're right, son. Good job. But why in the world would Fred leave a trail of farts for us to find him? Ew, let's go. Fred! Fred! Yoo -hoo! Fred! Fred! 
Hmm, there's something about this path that tells me something. Hmm? Yes, I got it. This path is the one that leads to Grassland, home of Pelvis. Exactly, Junior. Here's this musician who did not know how to sing and that Fred exposed. But when you are so near to me, Mon Amour, I'm like a kid in a candy store. What a terrible voice. Say, it puts me in a bad mood. Not that imposter. I bet there's a connection with him and Fred's disappearance. Hmm, I don't like this at all. This story does not look good. Fred fans, I've got good news. Fred is on his way, so get ready to rock. Hey! But now, put your hands together and welcome his longtime friends, Al and Bob! Tony friend really funny, huh, Gilbert? <laughs> Whatever. But what happened here? I don't know, but Pelvis hasn't cleaned up for a long time. Well, it's important we stay on the lookout. We never know. <laughs> hmm? This way! Psst, Miguel, come on, do what you do best. <laughs> You've been awesome, but now, what are we going to do to keep them entertained? That's out of the question! Impossible! I will never! Huh? Uh, hmm? uh, the, the, uh, itsy bitsy spider crawled off the water spout. Nope. Be careful. It looks like a booby trap, but you never know. So we'll bypass it for safety. <laughs> I don't understand. No one's here. Yet the fart odor comes from there. <laughs> oh, yeah! The itsy bitsy spider climbed up the water spout. Spout! Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out! Out came the sun and dried up all the rain. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> The jungle budge. I guess you're coming to rescue this evil warthog. Well, you're too late! Huh? Who just spoke? Huh? Huh? Oh, yes, it's me, it's me, it's me. Is it me or is he a bit cuckoo? Uh, I share the same judgment. Pelvis, you're going to tell us right now. Where is our friend? All right, you just had to ask, that's all. Yeah, I'm really glad that I see you. Thanks for coming to my rescue. Get me away from this freaky dude, or I'll be grinding up meat and chewed. Oh, yeah. <sighs> ah, Fred ruined my career, revealing to the world that I didn't sing myself. It's my turn now to end his career. Oh yeah, that's me. That's me again. Uh, I'll leave you alone. Now here comes my final hour. My life is gone from sweet to sour. When this trap devours my thighs, I will disappear from your eyes. <laughs> sing, Fred, sing. I'm listening. <laughs> huh? Oops. Uh, huh? Who's screaming like that? Huh? Oh yeah, it's me. <laughs> Hold tight, Fred. Come on, Patricia. Try to slow down the trap. <laughs> huh? uh, Maurice! I won't be able to hang on much longer! Oh. Hmm. Ah! It just might.
might work. Fred, huh? get ready. <laughs> Son, cut the rope. Thanks to the smell of my farts, you found me here in these parts. I'm the king of passing gas, but you guys really saved my ass. Oh, oh, oh. Well, thank you. Thank you. You can thank us later, Fred. There's a concert waiting for you. And, oh, the it is spider. I love you, my loyal fans. Oh. Buddy Pig, Pig, I'm so happy. Buddy Pig came hmm? back. Hey, 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 hmm. hey, 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 hey. You heard him, everybody. Fred is in the house. So now it's time for the concert you've been waiting for. I'm not death metal destroy you. Hey, hey. I'm not bebop swinging, ski bop jazz. I'm not funky pop soul or R&B. I'm boom. Boom, boom, boom. there? Huh? Who said that? Oh, yeah. It's me. It's me. Well, at least I won't be alone in this pit. Hey, give me a leg up. Huh? Who? Me? Yeah, you. You see anybody else here? Huh? Who said that? Oh, yeah. It's me. It's me. One, two, three. <laughs> oh, but why? Why do you all always choose to make noise right before my nap? Sorry, Gilbert, but it's the perfect musical moment. Almost there, son. Yes, mastering the Wutu, the technique where the ears see everything, requires a lot of training. All right, let's start again. <laughs> we'll continue with the training later, Junior. Duty calls the Jungle Bunch. To the rescue! Good mission! Open. So, my friends, what brings you to this part of the world? No, we're here. Great warrior tiger, please help us. Uh, we're gonna be here for a while. Gilbert, goodness, they're exhausted. There is a mandrel magician, very, very loud. Oh, he's preventing us from sleeping. Yeah, well, welcome to the club. You were talking about a magician mandrel who keeps you from sleeping. Yes, just so he can get us to leave our cave. He hasn't threatened to turn me into a swallow. Blech. Tonight, you will sleep at home. I promise. The Jungle Bunch will take care of this magician in your cave. Oh, yes, oh, yes. Miguel wants to see magician. Miguel never thought magician. My poor little bats. I have an idea. You're going to stay here and get some rest. Really? <laughs> we didn't want to ask. Hey, everybody, we can stay! <laughs> Oops. Well, that was quite a hike. Hello, anybody here? <laughs> <laughs> Who is this? Let me guess. You heard all about my fabulous new show, and you couldn't resist coming to see the fabulous Mandrick. I'm sorry, but we did not come for your show. We came to ask you to leave the cave. Huh? What? Why exactly should I leave? Because this cave belongs to the bats, not you. But this is my cave now. I've designed my spectacular show especially for this place. I won't leave it for any reason. <laughs> this cave is mine. I'm here and I'm staying. <laughs> Hold on a second. That's it. Of course. Don't panic. It's just mirror effect. Look, this one reflects the body, and that one the head. The mandrel was never in front of us. That means it could be hiding anywhere. All right, let's move. <laughs> 
Otherwise, we'll have to share our lair with all those disgusting bats full of germs and parasites. That's quite enough now, Gilbert. Rude behavior is totally unnecessary. Bats are very clean and... Perhaps, but did you need to invite them to our place? Okay, fine. You know what? I'll take care of this magician for us so you can stop your complaining altogether. Huh? You offended her, Gilbert. Nice job. Patricia? Patricia? Woohoo! Patricia! <laughs> So you're back. Did you forget something? Abra Cadabra. A bat in a hat. Patricia, release her evil sorcerer. Very well. I agree to set her free. But you must leave my cave. No. You release Patricia and then you get out. Abra Cadabra. Bat, be gone. And good luck finding your little friend. <laughs> Patricia. <laughs> Don't worry, Patricia. Wait, Maurice! You can hurt her. Let me look at that. Get me out. It's too dark in here. Oh, I get it now. There's a false bottom. Look at this, guys. I just turned this in the opposite direction and... Gilbert Magician. Oh, I'm so glad to see you all again. You, not so much. Huh? But I was the one who got you out of there. Look, you'll settle that later. First, we have a mission to finish. Where'd Naughty Magician go? Don't worry, Miguel. He can't be far. <laughs> Two paths. I think we should split up. For once, I totally agree with you, Gilbert. No, we stay together. Junior is going to guide us thanks to the Wutu, his technique where the ear sees everything. You ready, Junior? <laughs> Mandrill have managed to cross. Junior couldn't have been wrong. I'm going to check out the other side. Trick. A trick? For real? Yeah, so what? Hmm, well done, Jungle Bunch, but the game is not over. <laughs> oh, I've never seen so many quartz crystals. Hey, look at me, I look so beautiful. Not see Miguel. <laughs> ah, Miguel, wake up, Thunder! This is not Thunder, it's static electricity. Don't worry, Miguel, it's not gonna hurt you. <laughs> Are you looking for me, Jungle Bunch? I'm here! No, no, I'm here! There! Lower! No, over here now! <laughs> Which one of them is real? So, Jungle Bunch, you finally realize that you can do nothing against the great powers of Mandrake! Ah! 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 Magician, make fire! Not good fire! Don't worry, these are only reflections. Ow! Okay, a couple may be real. Yeah. Quick, we have to get out of here! <laughs> Miguel very afraid of magician. We'll have the final word. This illusionist will taste our magic tricks, you'll see. And you will have a very important role to play in this, Patricia. Where are you? Yoo-hoo! 
What do you want? Where are your friends? They left. They're too afraid of you. And you? Aren't you afraid? I'm afraid too, but I have to tell you something. It's a bit silly, but okay, here I go. Ever since I was a baby bat, I've dreamed of being an assistant to a great magician. And since I saw you and your exceptional tricks, I was kind of hoping that... Oh, yes, exceptional <gasps> indeed. And you're right to stay in this cave. You're just so handsome in all these reflections. Come on, please, let me be your assistant. Say yes, say yes, say yes, pretty please. Hmm, I'll give you a try. Wonderful! Maybe I can start by cleaning your quartz crystals. Your show will be even more magical. Oh. Yes, that's a good idea. <laughs> That's much better. And now, ladies and gentlemen, the greatest, the most illustrious magician! I'm it's a signal! Here we go. The no! The king of illusion! The great Miguel! Mm -hmm. The fabulous master of lightning! You were right, Gilbert. He had prepared a secret passage to escape. Aha! I knew it. It's up to Maurice and Junior to play the final act. <laughs> Can you see him, Junior? <laughs> ha! So, Mandrill, <laughs> did you think you could escape like that? <laughs> Okay, enough praise. You can all go home now. And what did you do about the awful magician? Hmm? <laughs> I will be back, and you will all suffer the revenge of the hmm? greatest magician of the jungle. Oh, okay. I won't be back. Oh, You're welcome. Time for a nap. Well done, son. You're good at hide-and-seek. Observation and camouflage are two of the most important tiger skills. Now you still have to find Al, Bob, and Patricia. <laughs> well done, Junior! Uh, well done, Junior! You still have to find Al, son. Oh, bananas! Bananas! Miguel not eat banana for a whole five minutes! No, it's just not fair. It's because of Miguel. Naughty talking banana! I want you inside Miguel's mouth right now! Hey, I'm not a banana, Miguel. Don't you eat me! No more hide and seek for today. Duty calls. The jungle bunch! To the rescue! <laughs> Good mission! Open. So, my friends, what brings you to this part of the world? Hello there, great warrior tiger. Shh, who's the boss here, huh? I am the boss, so I'll be the one talking and you be quiet! But, Mr. Stanislaus, I was just saying that... Stop, 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 stop! Otherwise, you'll get the mouse, okay? No, the mouse! No, no, not the mouse! Not the mouse! Listen, great warrior tiger, you have to help me! Every night a thief steals my watermelons, my beloved, adored, sweet watermelons! And you know who this thief is? Yes, the mysterious mole! The mysterious mole? Yes, she wears a mask and rides a wild hyena called Petardo. I asked these brainless guys to keep watch and catch her, but they're just a pair of incompetent! <laughs> But, Mr. Stanislaus, this is not a fault. I see. I protect you, I feed you, and this is how you thank me? How oh, ungrateful. <laughs> You'll get the mouse. You deserve it. No, not, not the mouse. Not the mouse. Not the mouse. Not the mouse. I always thought that elephants being afraid of mice was just a myth. <gasps> Small hamster turned into a mouse? No, Miguel. It's not a real mouse. But he is definitely annoying. Okay. Stanislaus, elephants, we'll follow you. We'll deal with this mysterious mole that steals your watermelons. Let's go, my friends. So you see those? 
my darlings. Those are my beloved, adorable watermelons. My sweeties, my babies. So no one should touch them. And when that mole shows up, pow! You catch her in the act. Got it? Leave it to the professionals. Gilbert, any ideas? Mm, use traps. We'll set traps along the way to protect the provisions. <laughs> Secret button. Miguel press button. No, Miguel. No, no, no. <laughs> the traps are ready. This mysterious mole can come now. Perfect, but first, I'll have a little snack. Trunk! Mr. Stanislaus, do you think maybe we could have a snack too? How dare you? You spent all day eating. You just ate yesterday. Come on. <clears throat> Here, but you better be quick about it. <laughs> the mysterious mole! There! Hurry, go get her! All right, Jungle Bunch, get in position. Go, Paterno, go! Hey, brainless and senseless! Get her! Uh, one on the left, the other one on the right! Uh, now the other one on the left and the other one on the right! No! <laughs> it's impossible to put a paw on the ground without being caught by my traps. Uh, oh, uh. Be up to us. <laughs> Miguel, push secret button. Mr. Maurice. Not now, Miguel. Wait a minute. You should just give up now. If you want these watermelons, you will have to go through us. <laughs> Miguel, press button. Uh, well, one small correction. If you really want these watermelons, you will have to fight just me. Banzai! You are a fast, mysterious mole, but you're not going to get away. Yep. Potato! Huh? Hey, Tiger Warrior, catch this! Sorry, Tiger Warrior! Until next time! I don't get it. What happened? Are you kidding me? You let her go with my watermelon! Don't worry, Stanislaus. Everything is going just fine. Surprise attack. From now on, it's Operation Discretion. Operation what? Huh? <laughs> Shh. It's Operation Discretion. <gasps> huh? What are you doing, Junior? You're defending him? You're not going to hurt Nanny Mary Ann, are you? She's the only one taking care of us. Do not worry, kids. It's okay. It's only a game. Then you're the nanny for these kids? Yes. They are orphans of the jungle. They have no parents. I took them in and I take care of them. I was growing watermelons to feed them. There wasn't enough for everyone. And one day, I went to look for water. And as soon as I came back, someone had stolen all our watermelons. The kids said it was a naughty mouse giving orders to two elephants. Oh, a mouse and two elephants? Reminds me of someone. Yes, I immediately thought of that horrible Stanislaus who wants all the watermelons for himself. 
So I disguised myself to steal from him, too. And I became the Mysterious Mole. Hmm. I think I know a way to find out if Stanislaus and the elephants were the ones who did that. Okay, let's go pay him a visit, my friends. Hmm. There they are. But what exactly is he doing? Ah, the Jungle Bunch. So, did you find the mysterious mole? No, Stanislaus. But we did meet orphans who also had their watermelons stolen. Sound familiar? Oh, uh, wait, give me a second on this one. Orphans, huh? Does it sound familiar? Not at all, no. And you, elephants? Uh, no, nothing. Okay, sorry, but you leave us no choice. Miguel, Gilbert, your turn. A tiny little green mouse to run around the house. <laughs> yeah, I'm the mouse. Ah, a mouse, stay away! Okay, we confess, we're the ones who stole the orphan's food. Sorry, we won't do it again. No, you morons, no! You idiots! They're gonna want my precious watermelons! Ah, I have a solution. <laughs> Run! Ah! Run away! <laughs> How will you manage to get my watermelons without getting trampled? Marianne, now it's your turn. <laughs> ah, no, 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 it can't be! How can this happen? Not the mysterious mole! Oh, we're free! Hey, we're free! Let's go! Come back, come back! Don't let the jungle bunch take back the watermelon! Junior, Miguel, now! Miguel love button! Miguel push! Button not working! Secret button broken! Never mind! Thank you, Jungle Bunch. Thanks to you, we got our food back. The mouse! 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 Here he is! Tiny mouse, a tiny mouse, to run all over his mousey house. Okay, I'm done with this. Could you put me on the ground now, please? <laughs> all right, Miguel, your turn. Try to identify everything we've included in this recipe. Kevin? Uh, almost. It was a guava puree. Second chance. What is this, Miguel? <laughs> Uh, Miguel's mouth not working. Potato? No, Miguel. This one's papaya. Miguel not taste anything. Jam has no taste. Come on, last one. I'm sure that you'll get this one. Mm -hmm. Disgusting, no taste. Well, Miguel, it was mashed bananas. Not possible. That's a banana. It has no taste. <laughs> Miguel no longer able to taste banana. <laughs> My friends, duty calls. The jungle, huh? <laughs> What's the matter with Miguel? It looks like he's lost his sense of taste. Sorry, Miguel. We'll deal with that problem later. The jungle bunch. To, to the, the rescue! rescue! Good, Good mission! mission! Open. So, my friend, what brings you to these parts? Well, um, my name is Alfredo, and I came here because I'm very worried about my meerkat buddies. Normally, we play ball together, but they haven't come around for three weeks. I have no one to play with. Oh, come on. There are worse things in life. Yes, losing the taste of banana. <laughs> I went to see the meerkats at home, and there's really something wrong. They're like couch potatoes. They don't move anymore, and they can't do anything by themselves. It looks like they're sick. Don't worry, Alfredo. You've come to the right place. We'll check it out. Come on, my friends, let's go! Oh, Alfredo, glad you're here. My back's been really itching. I'm too weak to scratch it by myself. Sure, of course! Want to play after? Um, too tiring. <laughs> Oh, 
I'll take a nap. Oh yeah, I'm also gonna take a nap. Not me, I'm gonna... They might be a lazy gang, but they picked a large quantity of fruits. I guess Alfredo was right. Something weird is going on here. Hey, you! Did you pick these by yourselves? What? Of course not. No need to pick anymore. We've had them delivered for the past three weeks. A raccoon actually brings us to fruit. In the beginning, he gave them to us for free, but now we give him lots of things in exchange. Help yourselves, you're hungry. Banana no taste. Oh no, poor Miguel. Mm. Impossible to make out which one's guava and which one's papaya. Wait, that means you haven't lost your sense of taste, Miguel. It's because those fruits. You're absolutely right. They're quite bland. That's okay since we don't do much to get our food. I need to take five now because I'm talking too much. <sighs> If the meerkats have become so sluggish, it's because they don't need to do anything to get their fruits. Excuse me, where can we find that raccoon? Uh -huh. Don't know. We just dropped the objects off in the village. He comes every week. He just picks up the objects and leaves us all of this fruit. The next delivery is in three days. Three days? Okay, then we'll have to wait. Hmm. There might be an avenue we haven't explored yet. What do you mean by where do we find our bland fruits? Do you hear that, Bob? They criticize our cooking. It is not our fault if Miguel is not a gourmet. This is for our mission. We must know where these fruits come from. All right, say no more. We found them in the Thousand Rocks Forest. We can take you there if you want. Hmm. Here we are. This is where we found them. Looks like someone has been selling some rotten fruit. Hmm. Let's keep our eyes wide open. There must be some clues around here somewhere. Well, well. That fly is a Moscat Cloqua. What is she doing on this fruit? They normally eat nothing but fruit that's totally rotten. What could this possibly mean? Mm. Ah, no! Don't gobble it up! If she's attracted to these fruits, maybe the fly can lead us to the raccoon trap. Let's follow her. It's awful! It's horrible! It's disgusting! It's... it's... it's, it's paradise! paradise. <laughs> okay, let's spread out and search the area. Something tells me we're very close. It's disgusting and full of germs! Has turned into fake fruits. Huh? Well, well. A little curious, are you? You're making fake fruits from old peels and rotten fruits. It's immoral, dishonest, and above all, dangerous for the health of all the animals. <laughs> you act as if I care. <laughs> Look. Look at all the beautiful things I have obtained in exchange for my fake fruits. Huh? Here we have Mr. Watering Can, Mr. Bowl. Mrs. Teapot, her friend Mrs. Bottle. Say hello, Mrs. Bottle. <laughs> oh, so close. Sorry, Mrs. Bottle. Uh, wait a minute. You mean, you built this giant machine and you distribute those fake fruits just to get a couple of cheap trinkets? What? Did you say cheap trinkets? Don't you listen to him, Mrs. Bottle. <sighs> what an insolent little tarsi. What does everyone think we should turn him into? A guava or a papaya? Gilbert! Gilbert! Where is he? We haven't found him either. That's strange. It's as if he just vanished. Huh? Do you huh? see what I see? Huh? There's still one left. Huh? <gasps> 
Whoa. Uh, hey, guys, I think we found something you'll want to see. Mm -hmm. Well, well, a trap door. Let's see what's underneath, Miguel. <laughs> Watch out, guys! Behind you! You shouldn't have stuck your nose in my business, Jungle Bunch! Nasty raccoon! You make tasteless bananas! Miguel, dump you! Miguel, ouch! Now take, ouch! Be a banana! Maurice, try to reach his collection of objects. It's his weak point! I can't move! <laughs> 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 Bonsai! Oh, pretty watering can. And hop, hop! Hey, pineapple of the jungle, don't touch that! Oops, he fell. No, my precious watering can! Watering can, are you okay? Did they hurt you? My friends, it's up to you! Okay, Al, Bob, the catapult. Up, up, catch it! I've got you, Mr. Ball. No, Mrs. Teapot! I will avenge you. I'll turn you into a fruit salad, you pineapple! Hey, you! Take this! Well done, Junior. Now all that's left is to peel us, I mean to free us, and put this horrible fruit maker out of business once and for all. Hello, my friends. We've returned safely, and you'll never guess what we discovered. That crafty raccoon was giving you fruit made with garbage and rotting fruit inside. <gasps> Disgusting, isn't it? <sighs> but don't worry about it. We've destroyed the fake fruits machine. He won't poison you anymore. No longer will you eat spoiled cheese bananas. <gasps> no more guava juice with rotten socks. <gasps> no more marmoset poop mangoes. <gasps> and to make sure you stay in shape, how about a little exercise? Yeah! Come on, guys! Let's finally play soccer! Oh, and thanks for your help, Jungle Bunch! All right, I'm open. Here, let me pass it to you. <laughs>